and they say when it rains it pours nothing explains the current geopolitical situation so aptly you see the world is already struggling to cope with the ripple effect of the ukraine war now the taiwan state it also pens and if that was not enough there's also flare up in nagorno karabakh Armenia is accusing Azerbaijan of violating ceasefire. Azerbaijan says Armenia was trying to capture a hill in the last 48 hours. There have been drone strikes and deaths. So uh, let's go to uh, Azerbaijan and Armenia's war area. This is the Nagorno-Karabakh ceasefire going up in flames. To understand its implication, we must start with a little recap. Nagorno-Karabakh is disputed region. This is where it's actually located on the map. The region broke away from Azerbaijan in the 1990s. It was backed by Armenia. Azerbaijan and Armenia clashed in 2020. The war lasted for six weeks. Some 6,500 people died. Then Russia stepped in. Uh, it broke actually ceasefire and Armenia had to seize land. Azerbaijan won back part of Nagorno-Karabakh. Russia deployed some 2,000 peacekeepers in the region. That's history. And now here is what happened on the 3rd of August. Azerbaijan accused Armenia of killing one of its soldiers. Baku said that Armenia was trying to capture a hill. But its military uh, thought it the attempt, Armenia has a different story to tell. It said the Azeris violated the ceasefire and that they launched an attack in areas controlled by the peacekeepers. The demilitarization of these territories, the complete withdrawal of Armenian troops, and the disarmament of illegal Armenian armed detachments are absolutely necessary. Uh, the strike killed two Armenian soldiers and injured 14. Azerbaijan's defense ministry is calling it a revenge operation. Armenia, on the other hand, has called the international community to step in to halt what it calls aggressive behavior and actions of Azerbaijan. Who else has said what? Russia is accusing Azerbaijan of violating the ceasefire. And that's hardly surprising as given Russia has a military base in Armenia. So you know where its uh, loyalty lies actually. The EU has called for an immediate cessation of hostilities. Meanwhile, experts are pointing at the failure of Russia's peacekeeping force. They say with Russia invading Ukraine, it has lost its status as the primary mediator in the Nagorno-Karabakh conflict. This works in favor of Azerbaijan. Why? Because the country has vowed to repopulate the area it won in the 2020 war. This is Elhar Malib. He is the president of Azerbaijan. Alev has promised his voters that he will retake the land lost in 1990. In July, Azerbaijan began its great return, sending people to the land it won. It's August and another clash in Nagorno-Karabakh has just begun.